Hello everyone, welcome to ECE3 lab number two. Today we're gonna work with this uh, digital oscilloscope as you can see in the video right now. So we're gonna start our experiment with the basic operations of an oscilloscope, uh, which is basically a measurement equipment that help you visualize a periodic waveform. Right. On a very high level, you can think of this digital oscilloscope as it takes in a continuous signal which is generated by a function generator here. As you can see, we're now generating a 1K Hertz sine wave with an amplitude of 5 volts peak to peak here. Right? So we're feeding this signal through this coaxial cable to the oscilloscope. So right now you can see that on the screen there is a sinusoidal wave, that blue, uh, that yellow curve there. Right. So on a very high level what the oscilloscope does for you is that it takes in this continuous sinusoidal signal and it tries to sample this continuous signal into discrete data points, d discrete voltage data points with timestamp and it's and it's trying to reconstruct these discrete points to the waveform you can see on the screen right now so let's take a closer look at the uh, waveform on the screen right now let me zoom in a little bit into the screen Okay, so uh, as you can see here, it's really a 2D plot, right? 2D curve plot with um, the horizontal axis as time, vertical axis typically as voltages because uh, it's easier to make the electrical measurement on voltage signals than directly measuring current. So uh, as you can see here, we are feeding into this oscilloscope with a 1k hertz 5 volt peak to peak sine wave so we're gonna check if this oscilloscope is giving us what we expect right so as we know if we have a frequency of 1k hertz so for this waveform then the period of this waveform is one millisecond right so how do you read this plot on the screen let's take a closer look at the number here so you can see that it stays 200 microseconds per grid so you can see these these rectangular grids for the plot right so that means for each grid it means there's a 200 mil, uh, 200 microsecond separation here right so we know that the period of this signal should be one millisecond which is five times 200 microsecond so our period should be five grids so let's look at the plot here one so starting from zero here one grid two grids three four and five okay that verifies that the signal we're seeing is actually having a frequency of 1k hertz or having a period of one millisecond Horizontally, let's check if that picture is giving us a correct 5 volt peak to peak uh, sinusoid, right? So the way to look at this is to see here because we're feeding in from channel 1 of that oscilloscope. So look at the number after that yellow number 1 here, right? So we have 1 volt per grid. Uh, this is a similar idea as, as this number is showing us, but this is showing the uh, vertical grids, right? The resolution on the vertical grids. So we have 5 volt peak to peak. That means from the peak to the valley of the sinusoid, it really should be 5 volts. Now let's check if that's true, right? So vertically 
we can move the signal to have its peak aligned with one of the grid lines, right? So right now you can see that we approximately align this peak with one of the grid line here, right? Let's count the numbers. One grid, two grids, three, four, and five. So that's exactly around five volt peak to peak, right? So that how that's how you read from an oscilloscope, basically. Let me zoom back here. Okay. So uh, for most modern uh, oscilloscopes, when they're dealing with these clean, not noisy signal, simple signals, um, you really don't have to worry about uh, actually fixing the uh, display. So all you have to do is hit the auto scale here and the system will automatically set everything up perfectly for you. But in this course, we're actually going to learn how to manually fix the display so that it gives us a perfect signal on the screen. So don't hit this button. Forget about this auto scale. So we're going to do this manually. Let me load a setup that we intentionally messed up. So. load from setup okay so now you can see that this the display is totally weird but still we're not changing the input signal the input signal is still a 1k Hertz signal with 5 volt peak to peak but the display is totally messed up so what's wrong with that what's what's going on with it still for this picture, we need to check two things, the two things we already checked, right? So we see that the time-based division, time-based resolution right now is 50 nanoseconds, right? So 50 nanoseconds is probably too fine for us to visualize a uh, one millisecond period. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the horizontal resolution of the oscilloscope to the extent that basically we can zoom out to the extent that we can visualize that one millisecond waveform. So let's do that. Okay, now we're at 200 microsecond, which means that um, we need five grids to complete a period, right? So horizontal resolution, we're done. So vertical resolution, in terms of vertical uh, display, we expect a five volt peak to peak, right? So let's see the vertical resolution here. It gives us a One hundred millivolt per grid, so we're still too, too much too zoom in, quote unquote zoom in for this signal. We want to zoom out vertically also. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna zoom out vertically. Okay, now we're at one volt per division, one volt per grid. So you can kind of see a sinusoidal shape already, but the signal is not very stable. It's kind of uh, wobbly around on the screen. So we'll talk about why and why this happened and how we're going to fix this. But let me just call it a magic trick here. If I hit trigger right now and then trigger from source one, then you're going to get a perfectly shaped sinusoid on your oscilloscope display right now so this is what, how we are playing with the horizontal 
resolution and vertical resolution of a oscilloscope. And we'll talk about the quote-unquote magic trick, which is really the triggering function that makes the display stable in our next video.